Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and I'm very happy to have all of you today here in my channel. Today I'm going to give you the step by step of how you can make this beautiful tote bag. I think it's perfect for this summer. You will love it and you will make it in different colors and you will combine colors if you want. But well, before we start, remember that it's important that you subscribe and that you activate the notification bell to my channel okay remember it's completely free and it's very important to me that you be part of my uh, family but well thank you so much for watching and choosing my video to watch but well why, what do you think of the color you will see that it's very easy if you are a beginner and if you want to learn how to make easy things well i think it's break it's perfect it's with a simple stitch and you will see how beautiful it is, okay? But well, let's do lose more time. I will give you the material list and let's start. Well, for this uh, tote bag, I will use 300 grams of this material. This material is light, it's number three. I will use this color and I will use the hook of number three and a half millimeters, okay? But well, uh, let's start. I will give you a step by step then. I will make this starter bag in a medium size, okay? So I will start from the base and I will make 56 chains. Well, I will make four more to have 60. So from here I can start. We'll decide how many chains you need according to the size of the tote bag that you want to make. You will make a four more remember to have 60 you will count three and in the fourth we will start making double crochet so from here we will make one double crochet in each chain at the end we must have 60 double crochet well uh, now we are going to make double crochet in the other side of the base so here in the bottom so we are going to make like a kind of a round um, base okay so we are going to pull the thread a little bit and insert the hook here in the beginning but before we have to turn over right <laughs> I almost forget so here we are going to make one double crochet and we are going to continue like this the whole row we are going to make one double crochet in each chain and at the end we must have 52 sorry we have to have 60 chain, uh, double crochets at the end so we will close with the first stitch of the last row okay so we will have this shape okay we will go up with four chains four and then we will turn over and then then in the same space we will make a second double crochet then turn over slip skip one and in the next one we will insert the hook and make a double crochet and then we will make a leaf also in the same space a double crochet but leaving the last loops in hold then a third double crochet in the same space so now that we have all of them we are going to bring them through and one chain to close well then in the next space we will skip one and then here we are going to make a V it means that we are going to make a double crochet one chain and then in the same space a double crochet so here we have a V then skip one and in the next one we are going to make a leaf so remember a leaf means that we have to make three double crochet in the same space but loving the last loop in hold then we bring through and one chain then one sorry we skip one and then in the next one one B and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row well look this is how I divide okay I put some markers to point it out for example from here to here we have 16 stitches one side and 16 stitches the other side and in the other side too and here in the middle we are only going to make double crochet and in the sides we are going to make the stitch of bees and leaves and here well I don't know if with 16 is enough I will see if I move the markers but just let me finish to make the stitch until the marker and then we will see how it looks and we will decide remember that 
once we make one B and once we make a, a leaf with skipping one and remember that the V has one chain between them and we'll hear the V's we make three double crochet all of them in the same space and we leave the last loops in hold and then one chain to close so so far it has to look like this here we are in the marker and I think I will make one more so I will skip one and make a V here so just let me count we have 17 here so we are going to move the marker right here and well we are going to repeat the same in the other side too so we will move one stitch or marker to point it out and I will make the same in the other side too so each side I will have 17 and then in the middle I will change the stitch to make only double crochet and then we are going to make it will first we will skip one and then we will start with the section of only double crochet well and we will make this row with only double crochet and then when we arrive to the marker remember that we move one we are going to make the chain the sorry the stitch of leaves and bees right and then in the coming rows i will tell you because we will change the side of the middle a little bit but i will tell you okay so don't worry for now let just let's continue making one double crochet so we are going to make of double crochet over double crochet then also in the coming rows we are going to respect this section of bees and and leaves okay we are going to in all the rows will be the same the only thing that will change is that we are going to our alternate okay where we make leaves we are going to make uh, the leaves and where we make the leaves we are going to make the bees well and we must have the same at the beginning and at the end of each section for example here we finish with B so here we must start it with a B so here I will move a marker remember that we move one stitch more so now I will continue with the stitch making the V's and the leaves so I will count how many double crochets we have 17, 18, 90, 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24 okay and now let me see how many we made V's and leaves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 okay and then I told you we have 24 so in all the rows we must have the same number okay so please respect the numbers that I gave you and please check them each row well remember and what we made here we are going to repeat it in the other side and within the double crochet and then again we will repeat let me make it and I will show you well you see this is how I finished the row and as I told you we finish with a leaf then we will start with a leaf here and we will repeat well then here I finish I already count that I have nine each side and also that I have 24 stitches and here I finish with a leaf and then the other row I, I finish it with a leaf so it's perfect I just slip one to close and then I will measure it so you can have a reference an idea and uh, once you make yours okay so here we have 35 centimeters right so I think it's perfect I took as a reference this letter so it perfectly fits an iPad a notebook or so so I, I took it as a reference so please take that into account once you make yours well we are going to continue the same with the same stitch but now what it's going to change is that that we are going to alternate here for example we have a V we are going to slip one and then we are going to make a leaf so remember that we have three double crochet in the same side leaving the last loops in hold and then we bring 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 them through one chain and then next to it we have to make a V so here in the middle of the V we are going to make I'm sorry in the middle of the leaf we are going to make the V so here we are going to make 
the leaf and like this is how we are going to alternate taking into account what we made in the last row and well we are going to continue like this respecting the segments of nine of leaves and bees and then the 24 double crochet and we are going to alternate so far we have it has to look like this so let's continue and see you at the end so well, before you continue here I will stop a little bit if you want you can continue straight making in this section only double crochet but I have other idea for you remember that we have 24 here so I divide and we have 11 and 11 then I will take these two stitches and here is where we are going to draw the diamond so we will make two chains and we will skip one two and in the third we are going to make a double crochet then we will continue straight making double crochet over double crochet and then we will continue and in the same distance here right in the middle I will repeat the same drawing and then I will continue and see you when we are here to teach you what's next well I came all around and here I'm two stitches before remember that we alternate where we make the V's we make the uh, leaves and like this we alternate so two stitches before the space that we leave we are going to make two sorry three chains we will skip these two and then we will make a single crochet in the space and then three chains we will skip the next two and then we will continue making the double crochet and then with the rest of the stitch remember that here we finished with a V so here we must have a V in the beginning too and we must have the same stitches in one set in one side than in the other and then in the other side we will repeat the same okay we will keep with the drawing so we will finish this row and see you here to teach you what's next with the drawing that we are making okay so let's continue and it's important at the end to have the same in one side than in the other well here we are again okay so we are two stitches before where we leave the last hole you see so we will make three chains and then single crochet in the hole then it will look like this then one two three chains and again here in the space a single crochet then three chains we will skip two spaces and in the third we will continue making the double crochet and we will continue with the rest of the stitch remember that the same drawing that we are making here we are going to make it in the other side too well the drawing will go like this one space two spaces and then three spaces and then we are going to alternate again but see you in the next row to teach you what we are going to make to uh, close the diamond but the rest will be the same okay and we are going to alternate the leaves and the bees well so here we are one two three four five and in the sixth row so here we are in this space we have to close the diamond so here in the first space we are going to make two double crochets inside so here we have one and two then three chains and then here in the space one single crochet then three chains and then here we are going to make it again two double crochet and then we will continue with the rest so while we made in one side we are going to repeat it in the other side too and remember that we will follow the same instructions also in the other side and well it is important that we count that we have the same number of stitches in one side that in the other okay so uh, we have one then two then three spaces then again we will close two and then we will close and finish with one space and we will repeat the same well after we close the diamond we will make three rows of only double crochets and then again after these three rows we will draw the diamond again I'm to stop again to uh, teach you so here we finish with one so we will make three rows with only double crochet like we made here and then again we will draw the diamond and remember that in the sides we are going to respect the stitch of leaves and bees 
and each three rows of only double crochet again we will draw the diamond like this we will repeat this series as many as we need well look I repeat the series after the diamond I made three rows then after the di then the diamond and then the three rows and like this I continue making more rows and more series and we have something like this I will tell you exactly how many rows I made I finished with one two three four five and six rows with only double crochet and then here where we have to make the V's and leaves I made six single crochet and then I skip one then single crochet and I skip one to close here a little bit to reduce a bit and well then I just finished making one row of single crochet just to reduce a little bit and that the tote bag will have the shape but well I so far I think it's that's all I will show you how I make the strap and well I then I will iron with a steam using a protection under and I think that's it well here in the last row in case you have a doubt we have to make a single crochet and I will make it in the wrong side so this means that I will uh, face this stitch to me uh, inside okay to the wrong side and I change the hook because I used to crochet a little bit loose so I want that this part be a little bit tight and I make it in the wrong side because I love how it looks the chain here and I have to confess something my mom helped me to make this um, bag I just gave her the instructions and then she continued because she saw I have a lot of work I love to crochet so she decided that to help me and well this was her idea to make six and then skip one then six and skip one so thank you so much mom to helping me you crochet so beautiful and I learned uh, you are the best teacher <laughs> well then here for the strap I will continue using this hook is a small number so I will slip one two three four and here is where we are going to start to make this strap so we will go up with three chains and this will be the double crochet of the edge okay so we will skip one and in the next one we are going to make the, the leaves and the V's that we made here so first we are going to make a leaf so remember three double crochet all of them in the same space with the last loops in hole then we are going to bring them through and make one chain and then we will skip one and in the next one we are going to make a V so basically what we are going to repeat these two segments here to make the strap and then we will finish making a double crochet of the edge so like this we will continue and also we are going to alternate and it's exactly in the half of the tote bag okay with this stitch we are going to make a long strap that goes until here you will decide the length of this strap and then also remember that we are going to alternate now where we make the V's we are going to make the leaves and where we make the, the V's we are going to make the leaves and like this we are going to continue uh, I will show you how and well remember that it's important to make the double crochet at the beginning and at the end of this row because this double crochet will be for the edge so it's important that we have this uh, part straight and that we make it proper, properly okay so I will continue and I will show you how it looks Well, of long, I will measure it and I will tell you how many centimeters are. So from here to here of long, we have 30, 35 centimeters and then of width we have 35. And then I will, I think it's perfect. It's perfect for an iPad, for your laptop, for a notebook, for everything that you want, also for the market and so I will finish this strap and then I will show you how it looks. Well, I measure it and we have 75 centimeters. So I think it's perfect. And then my mom told me that no, instead of one double crochet each side for the edge, 
uh, we should make two. So uh, she made this again. So she put two double crochet each side of the edge. And well, this is how it looks, but it's up to you also if you want, you can make only double crochet uh, or you can give it this a uh, different touch and it will look something like this. Well, to join, we have to take the half of the strap and also of the back, okay? Uh, I will use a marker, so here is the exact half and we will have the other half here okay so then we can join with single crochet or with embroidery needle like you want in this case i will use the hook also with the same thread and i will join okay i will turn around a little bit and then i will take two stitches together and make a single crochet well, like this is how we are going to join. Remember that at the end we will iron with a, a steam using a protection on there. And um, that's it. Okay, I hope that you like it. Also, if you want at the end, uh, you can use and you can put some fabric or plastic inside and it will use as a protection uh, for your back. But well, it's up to you. But like this, it's ready to wear. And I can wait that you send me your pictures that you made it. I love and enjoy to make this tutorial with you. I hope that you did, did it too. But well, don't forget to make it. I love it. If you go to all the malls and to every store of a fashion store of very famous brands, you will see that these tote bags are so trendy right now I have seen them a lot and I didn't doubt it to make it but well remember that if you like this video don't forget to subscribe it's completely free and it will help me a lot to grow thank you so much and don't forget to share this video if you like it to give me a like and thank you so much for arriving till the end of the video don't forget to leave me a comment too and as soon as I get read them I will answer back okay and also to, please don't forget to follow me in all my social media too thank you so much and see you soon bye